and uh, this section of the on touch of event is running. And so your program can treat them separately or the same. Okay, and I think that covers all the, the, the demos that are included in the SDK. Now we want to demonstrate some advanced demos that we're working on. So, so these are the demos that come with the uh, SDK. There's the was four, and then there's a fifth one that's very, that's very rudimentary, the hello pen one. So that's five demos. But we also have uh, some additional ones that when we give this workshop, which is what these slides are based on, uh, we, we like to have people start developing with their own ideas, and we have some suggestions as well. One of them is to do a, a pen signature application where you can actually uh, analyze someone's handwriting and do some verification, uh, probably over a server for security reasons. But here's a very simple template, and uh, I'm going to pass it to Lance to, to walk through. Um, so this uh, signature demo that we have, um, like uh, several of the other demos, it allows you to write on the screen. Okay, so I, I, I've signed the screen. Uh, next, it'll allow you to view the, the data of the actual signature that can be used for verifications. So I'll, I'll bring that up. So you can see this is the pressure data. It's how hard I was pressing as I signed my signature. Um, Dario, how many uh, pressure levels do we have? I think it was 128, was it? Something like that, I'm not sure. Um, it, it's in that range. Uh, I can look that up for you later if you want. Um, it's returned in the API as a float from 0 to 1. And the, the other data that we show you in this uh, example is uh, simply how fast I was moving the pen as I signed. So um, the, the purpose of this example is to show you that there's a, it's a very rich um, API that will give you a lot of data about what the person is doing with the pen. And then you can do signature verification using things like uh, the curvature of the lines and the pressure, or things like that. Thanks, Liz. So, so at this point, is there any questions we'd like to uh, open it up? We will be adding these more advanced demos in future updates or on the website. Uh, we do have an elbow here if you want to show any of the demos up on the projector.
Uh, so this is the pen event demo, and you can see as you draw on the screen, um, our painting view is past the events, and it uh, properly shows them. Uh, the pen does have buttons on the side, and you can be pressing the buttons as you touch the screen, and that's something your program can also detect. So in this example, if I hold down the button on the side of the pen, and then I press the tablet, we have color change programmed in. Uh, but when you write your own apps, you can decide what to do when the button is pressed. I guess it's, uh, it's a little, the image is a little blown out, <laughs> but this is the, the pen menu demo, and there's a, a curved pen menu that we provide here in the corner. Oh, thank you. So the, the surface that we draw on is uh, one thing that we provide the painting view, and you can use that or you can do your own drawing. Uh, but this menu in the corner is also another component that you can choose to use or not use. Um, it provides a, a set of pens that you can choose from. So I can switch from that thin pen to a thick crayon here. And I can also do things like uh, change the color. So now I'm drawing in red. Uh, there are various uh, calls you can make to customize this menu. For example, you can just show thin pens, uh, what we call simple pens. Also adjust what the uh, what the pen menu will show as options. So you can disable certain options like undo on the menu. Uh, so there there is usually a lit up button here for undo. You can't see it very clearly on the projector, but now it is disabled, so that that option is not presented to the user anymore. Uh, the pen menu can also be shown and hidden, and in our example, we have a button for doing that. Uh, there's also this uh, this pen button here in the uh, the Android system. Uh, this oh, it's uh, <laughs> we're stuck on an image apparently. So I just wrote on one page, and then I can scroll to another page, and then I can write on those pages. There's something else we didn't show in this example, is that you can control zooming in and out the viewport. Uh, in this example, we, we use the volume control to zoom in and out. signature demo again. So I've, uh, I've signed the screen, and then I can see a graph of the pressure I used. So I was pressing lightly at first, and then I, as I moved the pen, I got harder, but then it also has um, some waviness to it. So like during part of a loop, I probably press lighter or something like that. 
and uh, this is the, the velocity I used as I was writing. Those are the demos we went through. Is there any other questions that people have? Would people be interested in seeing maybe a stereoscopic 3D demo? Mm -hmm. Try that. You got the demo 3D? Or yeah, I have a way to look it up. But we can also run it in the uh, emulator. summarize OpenSense SDK currently has three parts. There will be more parts in the future. Uh, so we were focusing on the pen framework, which is also again stereoscopic 3D, uh, which is one this one sample project, but it's got several demos in it. Uh, and lastly, like I started in the beginning, the beginning of the meeting, we have common controls uh, of which we just introduced the uh, Tab Plus control, which is the first one we've introduced, and there's going to be more in the future. So that's, that's the summary of open sense SDK. Um, and when we get a chance, we'll, we'll just we'll pass around the devices we have if you have any questions. Um, again, thanks for having us. Thanks. <laughs> 很有趣的這個HTC的OpenSense Special. Sorry, you